Once your site has been completed, I know that you're excited to launch, but there's some things that you want to pay attention to. You, first of all, you want to just go through your entire site and you want to test, you want to do a lot of testing to make sure that there are no broken links, uh, that everything is working accordingly. Now, I didn't do any testing uh, in this particular course, and the reason for that is I want you to do the testing. I want, because I've, I went through the, you know, the extension. I usually, you know, practice with this a lot just to make sure that when I'm, you know, when I'm doing this uh, videos that I'm able to explain it to you in a simple format. So I do tests before I actually create the courses. And uh, the reason for this is because I want to become familiar with it. So I definitely encourage you to do some tests. You know, I want you to create log, you know, different accounts and test it out to see what the users are going to see, how their back end looks, you know, and things like that. So that is a great way for you to become familiar with how things are. If you don't test the site, then you don't know what's working, what's not working. I know what's working, what's not working, and, and things like that, like that, because I've done a lot of tests uh, prior to this. And then you just want to make sure that the image quality is good. Now, I mentioned before, if you don't if you don't have the budget to hire a photographer, a professional photographer, you know, get a, a phone that has a quality image. Most phones today have some really solid image, and you want to make sure that you take something with high resolution so when you're uploading it, it's crisp and it's clear. People are going to be, either be attracted to the images that they see or they're going to be turned away from it. So you don't want to have something that, when people look at it, they're just like, oh, I don't want to go there. That looks bad. You know, so take pride in what you do. Spend some time. And if you can invest some money uh, to hire someone or get some good equipment to take those pictures, because those pictures are going to determine the type of people that you get. So if you take pictures that are quality, then you're going to attract the right type of uh, customers. But if you take pictures that just look crappy and it doesn't look good at all, then the type of customers that you're going to get when they come there, you're going to wish that they never came. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you don't want customers to come and then you're like, oh boy, how did you, how did you find out about me? What are you doing here? Leave, leave. <laughs> you don't want that. So make sure you take pride in it and just keep, keep working on it. Keep improving your business. You know, write a blog, you know, blog a lot about your business. Um, share with social media what's going on. People are always looking for new places to go, uh, you know, adventures to take, you know, to travel. So maybe you live in a third world country where, uh, you know, you don't have the opportunity as other people, uh, but people want to come to where you are. So you can use that opportunity to seize that moment. Um, maybe you, know, you have a few rental properties. You never know what people are interested in. If you create something, then people definitely want to come to it and see what it's about. And another thing too is your pricing. You want to make sure that you're not underpricing yourself or overpricing yourself. Because when you underprice, then you you lose a lot of money. When you overprice, you don't have a lot of clients or, or customers that come. So make sure that you do some research on the pricing that you have. And update your website regularly regular, you know, when you have new properties, you know, new things, new photos. If you take some pictures and then you realize that the picture is not the best quality and you want to update it, it's okay. Update the pictures and then put it on the website again and just keep improving until, you know, things get, you know, exactly how you want it to be. So I just want to give you some tips now that you've completed the site and you're probably wondering, you know, what's next. If you don't have the money to market your site, social media, you know, connect with other people who are doing what you're doing and share what you have and see how you can help them and how they can help you. You know, and this and as an entrepreneur, as a small business owner, you will never be successful as an island. In other words, you can't do it all. You know, once you create your website, just reach out to other people and see how they can help you promote it, share the word. You know, word of mouth is a great marketing tool. But when you have a solid website that people see and they can come to, the word is going to get spread around really, really quickly. So those are just some few tips that I just wanted to, you know, give you now that you have everything in your hands to uh, to compete with, you know, some of these multi-million dollar companies. So the next step now is that you have all this information is, is what you do with it. 